Okay, so this is a Chambers. It's a 1946 B series. I believe the actual model is 12B, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. I paid $200 for it, which may have been a little on the high side, but it's all there. Expensive parts are in excellent condition. It's missing sp springs, but they can be found. But I just wanted to show, before we do anything, the overall condition. It's filthy. The enamel is pretty much unmarked. Apart from that. It's the only place I found any damage to what are the most expensive parts. Now the side's loose because I'd already taken them off and I just popped them back on for this video. I think all I'm seeing at the moment is dirt. So I lifted the top, it just folds back. Um, this is the low back model. Right behind me I have another backsplash. This is also from a Chambers uh, B series, uh, a 15B. I, it's an oven I bought a long time ago for almost nothing and it was junk. Yeah, I mean the main bodywork had so far gone that it was never going to be saved. Although this part might be. There are some technical issues fitting that backsplash to this oven and I don't know if I'll manage it but we'll have a go. So the top is dirty. This would be typical. It is dirty but it is complete. According to one spec sheet I saw from Chambers, this should have um, a chrome top, but it doesn't. And I suspect that's because when they re restarted production after the war, they produced all sorts of catalogues and ideal scenarios but what they ended up doing was using parts from their parts bin and so while this is supposed to have a chrome top it ended up with a black one and that's okay so generally I'm not seeing any major issues with the condition of this thing it is just dirty And dirt comes off. So let's take a look in the service cabinet. Um, the one thing the service cabinet is remarkable for is that there is no safety valve for the other one. That's not a problem either. It was cooked on for 60 years without a safety valve, I'm sure it'll last. And in the oven. Again, it's pretty good. There's no rust, apart from superficial surface stuff. And then the burner under here, this plate's in pretty good condition, it's just dirty. Under here, it won't lift up. Easily. 
No, we can't see under there. We'll look at that later. And there's the burner. The burner's rusty. That's to be expected. And round the back is just what you'd expect to see. Again, it's decently clean. Okay, for those wanting details of their own stove, the information on these chambers is found under here. Let's just remove these. These are the deep wells. Uh, they're natural gas. The ones for propane are only half that thickness. And these mounts are in slots and they're in a higher and lower position and they can be changed depending on whether you're running propane or natural gas. Actually, is it those mounts? There. Can you see that? The, um, the entire burner lifts up or can be dropped by moving that position and lifting the mount up into the top hole. Okay, so the information is here and I don't know what kind of picture we're going to get of this. The top set of stamped numbers is the serial number. In front of the serial number, right before it, is a painted on. It appears to be a painted on number and it, depending on the decade uh, the number there represents the year of manufacture. In this case it says 6 so this is 1946 and below it is the type and in this case you can see it's a 12B. I don't know what the 42 means but 12B is the model. Okay, typical underburner appearance. Lots of dirt, a little bit of surface rust. Uh, a few sad looking gas valves. We'll take care of all of those, and that's not in focus. That a bit. Yeah, a few tired looking gas valves, but they all turn. And they turn pretty well. There you go, it's all of them. And the oven thermostat, which I have no way at the moment of telling if this works or not, but it turns smoothly. So that's always a start. Okay, so there you have it. A 12, uh, 11B, and it's going in our kitchen. So it needs to look somewhat better than this and over the series of a few videos, hopefully it will.